guys out in uh, Revolution Land, how are you? I'm here with my buddy uh, Ricardo Guadalupe, CEO of Hublot and an amazing guy. And I think, you know, last night, uh, uh, hopefully you guys caught it, he put on an incredible display of the connectivity of Hublot to the world's best uh, soccer players. It was amazing on one pitch <laughs> to have, uh, well, to have first the two coaches, Jose Marino and, and Maradona, who was incredible, and to have on these pitches, not only some of the most amazing soccer players, but even guys like Usain Bolt, you know? Exactly. It was extraordinary. And uh, let's not forget, forget of course, uh, you know, um, uh, your, your incredible representative from Mexico, who I didn't know he could play football. Yeah, Rick, Rick did I play. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. Right. That's great. So um, let's talk a little bit about um, the fact that Hublot is able to be so expressive with so much creativity um, by pioneering certain technologies. And one of the things that people have been chasing for quite some time, uh, certain brands uh, as well, but really couldn't quite make it was red ceramic, right? And this year you finally um, managed to, to achieve this. How did, you, how did you guys go about this? And maybe you could show us the watch as well. Yes, the, that's the watch. So we've been able to achieve this uh, bright, uh, vivid, vibrant uh, red color. Yes. Uh, thanks to a, a long research and development. Right. It's a four years of research and development right. made in-house yes. uh, under the lead of Matthias Butte, yes. who is our head of research and yes. development. And, um, you know, the, the secret behind the finding this color is uh, the heat. Okay. Because, uh, you know, the ceramic, you have to, to eat it to, to make it, right. to scent it. Yes. And uh, when you heat too much, you burn the pigments oh, wow. and the, the red pigment in particular is very fragile. Right. So the secret is the process of manufacturing and the equilibrium between the heat yeah. and the pressure. Yes. So this is the secret. Yes. It's patented and this is the key element to be able to reach that color. It has been four years because sometimes it was too pinky, other times it was uh, uh, too too dark yeah. uh, like burgundy yes. and we really reached uh, this color finally I'm so happy that we have been <laughs> able to 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 reach uh, and to be able to produce this uh, red ceramic which yes. is also quite hard is even harder than the normal uh, red uh, black ceramic oh you mean the vickers hardness the, is yeah. even harder we have uh, 1500 vickers wow it's incredible when it's 1200 so you're, you're reaching almost diamond at this point yeah right? almost diamond yeah. And uh, so the result is uh, amazing, and uh, yes. so we decided to do a big bang, red magic. Yes. So there's got to be one brand that you're associated with. You know, one of our favorite car brands in the world that has been waiting for this to be achieved as well, because their signature color is also red. So Absolutely. can we expect a Ferrari red ceramic watch sometime in the future? Yeah, for sure. Of course. <laughs> so, you know, we we started on our big bang because it's our iconic model, iconic sure. line. But for for sure in the future. Uh, to have a Ferrari watch in that color could be could be great. Oh, it's cool. I, I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you uh, to bring it, but we've actually shot it already, so we can always cut the footage in. But I love the 42 mm watch, you know, and I love the fact that you took the in-house movement and you actually went to the extent of making the movement slimmer, so you could put it into a case that would be proportional. Uh, tell me about what this watch offers in terms. Of, I mean, because you know, it was interesting because initially I was thinking maybe it's for the the women's audience. Put it on my wrist, perfect, absolutely perfect. Yeah, we believe, you know, we, we did this Unico movement in 2010, right. so it's already eight, eight years. We came with a quite uh, big size because, of course, the tendency is also to big watches, but we believe that, you know, there are always cycles and uh, sometimes trend can uh, evolve and we want to be trendsetters. Yes. And uh, so we decided really to create a version 2 yes. of the Unico uh, thinner by 1.3 mm. It's 6.7 uh, thickness for a chronograph right. with a column wheel. So. And we integrated new uh, qualities uh, in uh, technological uh, improvements yes. uh, on, on the movement. Right. And for that, uh, it will open yeah, new ways of making 42 millimeter watch and also thinner watches, which is, I think, uh, good for our future. Absolutely. Um, I love the fact that, again, you know, Hublot can go anywhere and have a meaningful partnership with, you know, whether it be a, an entertainer or an athlete or even um, a musical group or an organization like the World Cup. Um, Two of my favorite uh, collaborations. One is the Orlinsky watch, which we have here, and the other one is the one with Floyd Mayweather. Tell us a yeah. bit about how these represent two different ends of the spectrum and how you guys wanted to, and I, so I love the fact that you basically wove gold into carbon fiber for the Floyd Mayweather watch. Let's start with that, maybe. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I think, you know, Mayweather has been uh, incredible for us. Right. It's really a new world of sport, the boxing world. Yes. And um, we say, you know, it's also a, a great sport, a gentleman sport. You yes. know, the, the boxing, it comes from England. So, yes. so uh, and to have Mayweather probably is the, 
is the Pele, the Pele or, or the Maradona or, of uh, the boxing. And right. we started a few years ago when he did the uh, uh, Pacquiao fight. Yeah, I remember that. Yes. With the uh, Hublot the uh, for the first time, yes. he had the brand on yeah. the trunks. Yes. Uh, we did the one with uh, McGregor, which was yes. even uh, better. And yes. we have been inspired by, by the trunks that he created for the McGregor fight. Right. So those black and yellow gold uh, trunks. Yes. And uh, he was so keen that uh, we produce a watch for him, you know. And cool. uh, really of cool. course, uh, TMT, yes. you know, the money team. Yes. <laughs> and uh, TBE, the yes. best ever. Yes. So to, to have this mix of carbon fiber together with with gold, uh, with gold uh, to have a special strap made of python with a the gold stitching uh, the, Sol the gold, with solid gold thread yeah, yeah exactly. exactly really cool so I think um, yeah I'm, I did you know hundred pieces limited edition because. I, I thought it was maybe a bit too segmented, but at the end, the Everyone success of it. <laughs> I, I cannot, you know, the demand has been just unbelievable. Yes, so, yes. and uh, we did the event in Las Vegas, and the guy is great. You know, the guy is smart, yes. he's intelligent, and uh, he's what about his person. opponent, uh, McGregor? Because McGregor is a fan, fan of Hublot, yeah, you know, and he's he's also a huge draw as well. Uh, interesting character, very colorful. I, you know, I would say one of one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. Yes, uh, you know, and and in some ways, you know, kind of harks back to the the sort of you know, Muhammad Ali's or the Sugar Ray Leonard's where there was, you know, a whole bunch of, of talk, but then he could back it up as well, right? And mm -hmm. Would that ever be a, a possible collaboration? You know, there we had, we had the choice a choice to make and we were with Mayweather, so yes. we said to stay with Mayweather, sure. you know. McGregor was, all, of course, interested also yes. to be partnered with us, but at the end we had, we make a choice, you know. Of course, sure. we like McGregor as well, he's a great sports athlete yes. and a great man, he loves watches. <laughs> uh, so, so, but we still have a good relationship. And I think yeah, what's cool about your partnerships is they're really long-term partnerships, you know. Yes, absolutely. Like you see with um, with and we're faithful to people, you know. Course. So course. that's also very important. Fantastic. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Olinsky partnership. I, I particularly like this because I yeah. love how you set the uh, the the diamonds in a way yes. that that complements and really exaggerates the faceting of his style. Exactly. You know? Yes. So. Olinsky is really, um, for the first time, I think we have brought really the art of uh, the person right. within a watch. The watch is the piece of art that could have been done by Olinsky yes. himself. Yes. You know, we just not didn't uh, paint it dial. It's really a co complete piece of art m made uh, with the, with the case and those facets. And I think that the result again here is really astonishing and surprising. And I have to say that. There I see the future also of the, the watch industry, you know, in, at our level we must create piece of art. Yes, of course. You have different ways to do it, yes. uh, through the movement, through the materials, through yes. the aesthetic, and this is another way, I think, that bringing art uh, from outside our industry right. in, within the watch. Very cool. So on the subject of creating art and using the movement to create art, let's talk about the MP11, which I think is super cool as well. Yes. Um, so this is a movement that you guys created and it has an extremely long power reserve, as I recall. And two weeks, yeah. Two weeks power reserve, uh, in-house movement, and I think it's really cool here you have it on a, um, it's just a 3D ceramic, is that Three, right? 3D carbon. 3D carbon. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this. So here again, you have those vertical bars that you can see here. Yes. Uh, horizontally. Right. So the inspiration came from La Ferrari, right. because La Ferrari had 11 bars That's vertical, right. sure. 50 days of power reserve. Right. It was a masterpiece, so very limited, very high. And uh, piece with quite an uh, important price. Yes. And we learn a know how through that watch by transmitting the energy through vertical barrels. Yes. So I said, why don't we use this know how? Yes. Let's say from a Formula One, right. we use this technique in, let's say, a more normal piece. So we reduce the size of the barrels. Sure. Seven barrels. But you still have that signature of the seven barrels in exactly. sequence across yeah. the, the But know, more the ergonomic, if yeah. you see the LaFerrari, let's say, it's concept a watch. watch. It's a big watch, yeah. This one yeah. is a big bang. It's a fusion between the masterpiece and a big Very bang. Cool. Seven barrels, two weeks of power reserve with a hour and minute and the regulating organ visible on the dial side. Very cool. A new material, carbon fiber, very light. So it's a 3D carbon fiber, so the, the threads is not only 2D, you have also one 90%. Because oh, okay. cool. you traditionally they're woven this way, Exactly, right? and so and there is up. another one that comes at 90 degrees. And where is this technology coming from? The, where it, it comes from the aeronautic. Okay, Yeah. cool. So it's very uh, strong. Yes. 
for the watch is not that important. But it's at interesting the end, too because as, as I recall, but Bruce probably know better than me. Carbon is incredibly strong, but only in specific directions, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I guess by adding the, uh, the 3D, an additional directions to the weave, it's really more even uniform stronger in all yeah. directions. And at the same time, the look because this carbon uh, 2D, I think everybody has seen it yes. in the watch industry yes. by so many brands. Yes. That's really totally innovative and gives also a new aesthetic Amazing. to the watch and the weight. This watch is uh, all together with uh, it's 90, 90 grams. So yeah, because you've got you've got sapphire and you've yeah. got the carbon, which are two of the lightest exactly. materials around. Now, on the subject of sapphire, if I'm not mistaken, you have a watch. You guys were you know pioneers in, in sapphire cases, but you have not a watch that's not just a sapphire case, but a sapphire base plate as well. Exactly. Can we take a look at that, please? Yeah. So that's um, <laughs> and you got one of those gem set too. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> that's the Tour Beyond uh, Sapphire. Right. So uh, we launched the Big Bang Unicorn Sapphire, and right. but we wanted to have a total. Uh, invisibility so right. we decided to do the main plate not in sapphire because inside it was not necessary and sapphire would have been too complicated it's yes. polycarbonate okay so it's a transparent resin yes in which we still have put all the pins and all the wheels right uh, so it's a great performance technically to be able to to reach uh, this this type of movement and i think that uh, the result is quite astonishing it's a tourbillon five days power reserve totally in house beautiful and on the diamond piece, yeah, that's cool. for the first time, yes. it's not diamond set on white, on gold or right. white gold or, or yellow gold or rose gold. Right. It's really diamond that are taken in sandwich between two layers of sapphire. Incredible. So you can see it here. Ah, right. Look, there is no metal. Yes. yes. It's only sapphire, right. and uh, here on the top is sapphire. It's not the diamonds directly. Right. It's sapphire. sapphire. Oh, that's brilliant. So you're yeah. using the, the material itself to become the instrument so, for setting it. Yeah. That's cool. That's quite. Well, you're never uh, going to lose a diamond that way. No, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And then maybe the last thing we can discuss also is, um, you know, and, and thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much for this collaboration with the Rake Magazine. So we're going to be launching um, a Big Bang together. We're going to be doing an Aero Fusion, Classic Fusion, uh, Big Bang, beautiful yeah. chronograph. Um, and the whole idea behind this was to take one of the most ancient metals in the world, bronze, and pair it with one of the most um, futuristic metals in the world, titanium, and and to treat them both in very interesting ways: sandblasted titanium, bronze, and to make a watch that. That expresses everything about Hublot, but also shows a dimension of Hublot that is um, kind of a dandy and sort of more of an elegant spirit. You know, thank you so much for that collaboration, Ricardo. I mean, yeah. tell but I have to say that so, you know we always want to explore different worlds, and yes. the, the world of, for instance, dandies uh, being more elegant is something in which I think we can bring uh, new consumers yes. that maybe will not go on a, on a classic big bang, sure. a very strong identity. Sure. So I think. Um, the example of also of the work that we have done with Rubinacci yes. is the same and Lapo, yes. inspiration, yeah. and I think thanks to this collaboration, collaboration, we can really talk to to potential new consumers That's as well. That's great. Well, it's cool also because uh, you know um, uh, Luca is a friend of ours and, and yeah. he's kind of always been an ambassador, and so is Lapo. So it's 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 great to be able to sort of explore this world together in, in a in a more interesting way. So thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you, Ricardo. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. Thanks, guys.